How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to light cars in 3D. So I'm gonna show you two examples, a dark scene and a light scene, and we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Before we get into that, I wanna let you guys know that the free version of the Real-Time Materials add-on is now available. It gives you 40 very high quality materials. So you can check that out, linked in the description, 40 free materials. All right, so now we are in a blank scene. In the description, um, there is gonna be a link to a free download for a uh, free model. So we're gonna go here to file, and append, or you can use any other model you want. But what you'll do is if you download that, it's gonna give you a blend file, click append, and then just go to wherever you saved your file. For me, save it here, car design, type three, and then we're gonna go here to uh, object, click one, and then hit A to select all of them, and append. All right, so it's gonna import with a bunch of big objects. So we'll go ahead and delete the camera and this big one here. Go delete this, delete this. Oh, and we have one more, delete that. I'm not sure what those are for, I'm not really gonna dig into it. But here we have the car model. I'm gonna hit Shift A and we're gonna get a plane. And I'm gonna hit S8, Control A, apply that scale. So now we have this. I'm gonna hit the tilde key and go to the back, Shift A, add camera, right over here. Camera settings go to 85. So 85 millimeters, that's something a lot of portrait photographers like to use and we're essentially taking a portrait of this car. So we're gonna use something, uh, a tight angle like that. I'm gonna hit G, middle click. And then I'm gonna go ahead and point my camera down a little bit, there we go. So this is perfect for me. Set up your camera however you like, but if you wanna follow along, this is gonna be the best way to do it. Uh, we're gonna go here to the cycles view. We need to fix one material on this car. I'm gonna hit this drop down and click scene light, scene world, so we can get some lighting here. I need to redo this glass material because we are gonna to need to kind of manipulate this glass later on. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that material, get a new one, bring your roughness almost all the way down, just give it a little bit of roughness, and then bring that transmission over, boom. We have some glass that we are going to uh, manipulate later. But we're ready, let's go ahead and get this ground plane, give it a black base color, make it metallic, and make it pretty rough almost completely mirrored, but not quite. So we're gonna be able to kind of take advantage of this reflection of the car, give you some symmetry. All right, so now we have this car ready. I'm gonna hit the drop down, click scene world, scene lights, and now we are going to start lighting this scene. Right here on the world properties, bring your color down to black, and then I'm gonna switch over to the EV preview, with shading so it's easier for my recording, it may lag. All right, so this looks pretty good in EV. And I'm gonna click on Scene World, Scene Lights here in the preview so we can see what it's gonna kind of look like in cycles. Let's go to light and get an area light. We're gonna bring it all the way up and then quickly go to this green thing and go to a disc. Now in really high budget, on high budget car shoots, you're gonna find these massive um, soft lights right above the car. Um, quite literally, they can be this big. Like they'll, they'll basically take a light and then put this sheet below it to diffuse it. We can simulate that here with an area light because area lights with default settings are very, very soft. So we can take that and then we can go to about a power of 800, sliding that in EV and then let's check it out in uh, cycles. So this is how it's looking in cycles. It's actually pretty good. Um, we are getting kind of this here. Now this window looks like a disaster. Uh, which is why I changed it. So we're gonna click on the material properties here and right here on the IOR, the index of, uh, index of refraction, we're gonna bring it back till we can go, looks like IOR of 1.2. And now you're gonna get this nice gradient here where the, the window is completely blown out, completely white. So this is kind of a unique um, example here. In 3D, you can manip manipulate things to be kind of unrealistic, but you can control the look. Now. This looks cool, this looks nice and mysterious. Uh, the problem is these rims. I wanna highlight them, I wanna highlight this part of the car. And they're really dark. So what do we do? We get some good old spotlights. So Shift A, get a spotlight, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit S and scale it down. I'm not sure why they're so big by default. I find it to be very impractical. Uh, then I'm gonna hit G to move it around. And I want it right over here. And then I'm gonna hit R twice till that line is hitting the rim. So like that. Notice how that line is hitting the rim. That's what we want. I'm gonna hit R again, just kind of get it perfect. Now we have that. Let's give it a power. Let's go to this uh, cycles view. 
we're gonna go to the cycles view here and we're gonna give, give it a power of 8,000. So now it just blows out the car. So we make sure we're in our settings. We're gonna go here to the spot size and bring that spot size down until it's just hitting that wheel. That's what we want. And now we are hitting the wheel properly. Now, if you want, now notice how this is dark, this is light because the light is hitting it at an angle. I want that. It gives you some interest in your um, shadows. So instead of hit, having the light straight on, having it at an angle there, gives you some interest, really shows you how deep those rims are, really shows you how nice those rims look. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the tilde key and go to the top. We're gonna to go take this light, I'm gonna hit Shift D and move it to about the same side here. And then I'm gonna hit R. So that's also hitting the rim, back to my camera view, and then go back to the cycles view. And here, we're gonna make it red. So that looks really cool. And now, we've solved our problem of not being able to kind of highlight this car. Now the reason why I made this red, it's really not even red, it's orange. The reason why we made this red is because that's where the backlight is. So you can kind of uh, mimic that backlight and it's not very bright. There we go. So now we have this and we're done. We're completely done here. Um, it's very simple lighting, but really the, the goal here, the goal in the, this lesson is capturing those parts of the car that look really beautiful, like this big curve here, these really nice rims and getting that lit up. And if you wanted to see how it looks as a final render, it's a little bit of noise here, you can denoise that, but this is the nice, clean, very simple car light, uh, car lighting setup. So this is the dark one. Everything's very dark, dark background, shiny floor. Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna make it very bright, a completely different look, a completely different feel. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go ahead and get a background. So click this guy, hit tab. We're gonna click this right here. And I'm gonna hit E, Z. So extruded it, and then on the z-axis, we're gonna add a bevel modifier to this, just like that. Now let's go ahead and go to the EV preview, or the, uh, what do we call it? What's the technical term? Viewport shading, um, which is use, uses part of the EV render engine to kind of view that. Uh, we're gonna get our base color to white. We're gonna make it non-metallic and make it totally rough. So now we can start to deal with some other stuff. This light here, we're gonna make it white, just so we can now just focus on highlighting these rims. Looks like you can really kind of get cookie cutter, cookie, can't speak, cookie cutter with your spot size too. So we can click this one and really get that, uh, which one are we looking at? You can really get cookie cutter with that spot size if you want, um, like, that. Of course, it's not going to be smooth here in the cycles view. It's going to be nice and smooth, but look at this. It's very white and kind of washed out. So we're going to click on the plane here and make it half gray, something like this. Now we have something that looks cool already. You can almost stop here, but we're not going to because I want to use a light to create a highlight on this car to highlight the, to bring your eye to the car essentially. And so this part's too dark for me. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this light here, I'm gonna duplicate it, make it much smaller, bring it past the car so there's no chance of reflections. And then we're just gonna go ahead and rotate it like that. We're gonna go ahead and bring that spread down, but that's really not gonna be noticeable. Um, an EV, but bring that spread down to maybe 10 and let's see how that looks in cycles. I'm, I'm doing all these edits in EV because this is very intensive on the computer and it'll make the recording lag. All right, so now we can see how this looks. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my spread up to make it kind of fill this area out some more. So my spread is now up too big so I'm going to rotate the light downward by hitting R twice and bringing it down. So now the light is creating a highlight right here and then what you can do is you can bring your spread higher maybe like 60. Now it's much bigger but it's also much softer and you can bring your power to maybe 400 and then let's see how that looks in a render. So here we have it. Um, it's very highly contrasted, uh, but I mean by that, there's really dark here, really bright here. That could be good. Uh, for me, I would bring my spread 
farther out to really meet this. But this is pretty much the lesson. So let me go ahead and bring that spread farther out and then I'll, we'll cap this off. So here we have it, um, just a bigger spread, still really dark here, but we can go ahead and fix that if we want to. But this is the render, this is the whole look. Um, one specific reason why I left so much negative space here is if you're rendering these cards for a client, um, a lot of times you're sending these to publications where they're gonna add, give it to graphic designers, they're gonna add graphics around the car to you know to, to further reinforce the brand, reinforce the look. So you have it, having this negative space really caters to typical client work. Um, otherwise, I would have it a little tighter, lower to the ground, all that stuff. And you can really do that yourself, whatever works for the project you're working on. Uh, but with that being said, those are the two lighting setups for this tutorial. I hope you learned some stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you want to get 40 free procedural materials, linked in the description for the real-time materials add-on, check it out. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.